Hey everybody and welcome back to the boot of Polymaker. Right behind me we have the new lineup for Polymaker. It's going to be the Fibron. And this is not what you think. This is not a, just a rebrand of engineering materials. We actually have something cool to show off. So we can see we have the PET G's with the carbon and the glass fills. We have the PA's and we also have a very new filament which is going to be the PPS which is super high resistant to temperatures and all of that but it's also going to be very expensive. The cool new thing about the Fibron lineup is the ease of print. So most of the times if you're going to use a very technical filament you will need a heated chamber or you will have to do some funny business just to keep it from warping and all of that. And the cool thing about Fibron is this filament doesn't need a heated enclosure. You can just print it on any regular printer except for the PPS. The PPS is going to be a bit sensitive for uh, the environment but all the other filaments you see right over here are going to be perfect for your bed slingers or your basic core wise what is going to be very important for these type of polymers is that you're going to dry them very thoroughly like you can see all these filaments are in the polymaker dry boxes this is something we are going to review on the channel in probably a few weeks but I can tell you right now that these boxes are perfect for any filament that you want to use I have dried my uh, PA nylons for the GD plus 4 chamber redesign and I can already tell you it's going to be a great product now if you have all the basics checked, then the Fibron lineup is actually pretty amazing to print. And these spools are coming with about 500 grams per spool. And I think the PETG filaments with the carbon fiber are going to be around 20 euros for uh, half a kilo. And then we have the other side of the spectrum, the PPS. And these spools are going to be closer to the 80 euros for the 500 kilograms. This here, for example, is a PPS. It's not only heat resistant, it's also a very stiff filament. And when you ring the bell, it really sounds like you are smacking something made of metal. Now, the 500 gram spools are not the only spools they are going to provide. They will also sell these huge 3 kilogram spools, and these are going to be very good priced. So I think the lineup of Fibron right now without testing seems to be very promising and if you are looking for an engineering grade material then I think you will find your filament of choice. So we are at the next part of Polymaker and right here we have not PLA. This is, I can't believe it, it's PLA. That's the quote from Polymaker. So this is going to be, it's not going to be a real replacement but it's going to be better than PLA. It's going to be more affordable and from the rumors I heard it's going to be close to 15 euros for one kilogram. So you can see right here we have a little model and it just looks like a PLA print. It has the same print properties, the same speeds, the same temperatures. So you don't need an enclosure. It's just as easy as printing with PLA. The pricing is going to be better. So this is going to be a great product to do your first testing if you are into engineering parts. So you can expect from Polymaker the co-polymer to come out very soon. It's going to be very affordable. So this is going to be a great product for you to test out. So we are at the next piece of Polymaker and I have Luke next to me with a, a great little video about the Mega Smooth but now we are going to look what we have here is going to be Pancroma. Yes. Please tell me all about Pancroma. What is it? So Pancroma is a new family of uh, filaments. Uh, at Polymaker previously we had uh, I think the most surface finishes and the most colors available yeah. on the market but perhaps Polymaker wasn't quite seen as that company so we uh, sort of took all our colorful stuff put that in a new product family called yeah. Pancroma. Pan being multiple, chroma being um, the, the, the colors of the universe. Yeah. I see a lot of uh, pastel-like colors, the very soft colors. Yes, so not only pastel, we have, um, um, uh, so you can choose by two uh, ways. So there is the surface finish, we can choose yeah. matte, silk, uh, gloss, or neon, or glow in the dark, or you can just go straight to the color. Yeah. Um, uh, everything is very easy to print. Everything is working just on, on compatible with all machines. Yeah. So it's just an easy PLA to print. Easy to print and focused on the color. On the color. Um, so right uh, next to us we have three paintings. Here we have our uh, Hue Forged artwork. And yeah. I first uh, found out about Hue Forge about a year ago. A Hue Forge uh, that this the it, person who made it. No. So Hue Forge is a uh, is software. Yeah. and it is designed for filament painting. So we print at very, very small layer heights. These are printed at 0 0.04. A bit like a lithophane. Yes, exactly. Yeah. And when the layers are that thin, then the color that is below uh, will, will shine through. It's a bit like a translucent-ish uh, type of uh, experience. Exactly, yeah. yeah. So um, if you have a, a, a blue underneath and you put a thin layer of yellow on top, yes. then the color that shines through will actually be green. So we have uh, Marilyn Monroe next to us. Then we have Vincent van Gogh. 
And then we have the famous Mona Lisa from uh, Leonardo da Vinci. So yes. this is all used with that uh, piece of software. Yes, yeah, so first, um, first I made this, this picture in, uh, in, in the software. Yeah. Uh, this is uh, the, the famous uh, Vincent van Gogh after he cut his ear off. Yeah. So he has a bandage <laughs> around his face. The famous here. bandage, yeah. The famous bandage, yeah. So it's, uh, the, it's called Self-Portrait with Bandage Ear from 1889. Um, and uh, I wanted to create this art gallery vibe. So yeah. the, the Hue Forge technology has the ability to, to make these images in, uh, with a normal 3D printer, just yeah. using layer swaps. So I this really was... like the accent you did with the frame. So we have a nice shiny frame, and then we have the more uh, pastel finish from a paint. This is really nice to see. And I can really see people that love 3D printing toss away the mainstream garbage and do something unique. Yeah, yeah. And just go with a self-made painting like this. This is really cool. So, and everything was printed on uh, a, a bamboo P1S. Yeah. So using actually three AMSs for this one because you have, uh, I think, 10 colors for ten this colors. one. 10 uh, colors. And you're just swapping on the layers. Yeah. Um, if you are going to do that manually, it's going to be a nightmare. So well, you really want to color change it. Yeah, yeah, you. but it is possible to do it, it manually. Possible. You don't need yeah. uh, an AMS or a multi-material system. Yeah. You can just add pauses in and, and right. change it. It's and you only to need to change eight times. Eight times for this so one. You just change layers on top of each other. So are it's these not, all not, about eight uh, layers of um, color changing? The Mona Lisa was 11. 11? I think this yeah. one was yeah eight or nine. This one had many, <laughs> yeah, because uh, we have uh, all different panels. Yeah, this yeah, one yeah. was much easier to make because this is 230 by 230, so it fits on one plate. Yeah, and then I just put them on. Uh, I just glue them to an MDF board, just using PVA glue. Um, this one I tried to uh, blend the. The, the panels together with a yeah. soldering iron just by flicking a soldering iron oh, along nice. the seam line yeah. um, just to create like a more homogeneous painting. Yeah. Uh, and then I designed this frame to go around just to give it that very... Uh, you like, designed the frame yourself? Yes, That's uh, if a you very look nice closely, job. it's actually all Panchroma logos. Yeah, we have the Polymic logo right over here. Nice little detail. And I tried to build in as many Panchroma logos as I can so yeah. you can see the, the Panchroma feather which is representing our peacock, the, the most yeah. colorful bird. Yeah. Um, uh, and then I use our silk colors to make the frame. So like yeah. you said before, we have that matte Very contrast poppy. with yeah. the, the glossy really like frame. It. This is our silk gold, this is our silk rose gold. This one on the Mona Lisa is actually a limited edition uh, Christmas bundle champagne gold from 2023. <laughs> yeah. You can't get that anymore. I'm the only one with spools left in the world. Can you uh, hook me up? If we, uh, if we get enough uh, feedback from the community, then we're going to bring it back <laughs> and we're going to start selling it again. I think I've got maybe one or, one or two spools left. We need at least 10,000 likes. <laughs> That's the deal? Like and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we can also see we have some very nice uh, dioramas, I think it's called. So we have uh, something that looks like the haunted mansion from the Adams family. We have uh, some kind of a theater. So we can see that the color usage you are doing right here is really showcasing the material usage of what you call uh, Panchroma. This is actually a really cool little show off. Of yeah, the and these are all designed by the designer Fulvio. He's, uh, you can find his designs on cults. Yeah. Um, very, very well designed. Everything is designed for 3D printing as yes. well. So everything fits together. You don't, um, if you do need glue, it's a very, very small amount. But yeah. I think it, his new designs actually don't need any glue. A little dab will do you. Um, <laughs> yeah, and uh, the, the beautiful part is they it just combines so many colors into one print. So yeah. previously at our booth, I would try and show off every, every material we have. We have so many now. Yeah. Um, that it's hard to have a, a good material for everything. So we go for quality yeah. over quantity. Yeah. And uh, Fulvio's models are, are best to showcase this. This is abso absolutely gorgeous. Well, thank you very much, Luke, for taking the time to explain me what this filament is. Uh, if you want to see more content, we are going to review the uh, poly dryers that you made. We have a few laying around and uh, I have some opinions about it. You will see what I think about it. And then I want to share some insights on Polymaker. From all the talks I had with all the people from Polymaker, I have met the CEO, we have met Luke, we have met Martin, and I also met the tall guy himself, Nicholas. And the only thing I can say is this company loves the people they are working for and the people they are working for is going to be you. They truly care and listen to what you have to say 
and this is something very fresh that we cannot see by a lot of companies then i also want to thank the members these guys right over here for enabling me to make content like this and you guys obviously for watching this video and then i want to finish this video with a big thanks to Zhang He for inviting me to forum next and making this trip more affordable but before you go there is also going to be a giveaway by the end of the year we are going to give away resins we are going to give away filaments even this dryer box and some coupons from pcb way so if you are interested follow the link down below and watch the live stream at the end of the year to see if you have won those prizes all right i hope you like this video about pollen maker and guys see you in the next one